today I'm showing you how easy it is to decoupage a picture frame using some jelly plate prints. The first thing I'm going to do is paint my frame a background colour. I'm using acrylic ink and because I'm going to be using blue and green prints I'm using a general blue. This is just in case any of the papers don't um, nestle right up to each other. I'm making sure I'm painting the inside and the outer edges. So these are different decoupage papers. So they're printed with bubble wrap, stencils, crinkled paper, various, that's crinkled um, plastic, that's plants, that's probably cotton reels, stencils, leaves, huge variety of different materials used to create the textures. Now I'm going to cut them into strips of varying width using a guillotine to get some nice straight parallel edges. As you can see I've got a few cut in different shapes and different tones and um, strengths of colour. So I'm starting with straight edge on the inside edge of the frame along the edge and uh, folding it round having applied Mod Podge to the paper. I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm just going to keep repeating this process all the way around the frame. I'll show you how I do the corners shortly. So that's Mod Podge applied to the back of the paper either with a brush, paintbrush or a foam brush. And I'm just doing random, there's going to be no sequence, but obviously you could uh, follow a pattern, repeating pattern if you wanted with your papers. What I am doing is making sure I don't have two papers of the same colour right, value right next to each other and varying them up. Can see how I'm going there so here we are to the corners I just wanted to show you how I've done the corners here um, so we are going to fold the paper at a 45 degree angle and use this as a cutting guide so I'm folding one edge to the other edge to create that 45 degrees giving it a good press finger press and then I'm going to use that as a guide for my scissors And then as before, apply Mod Podge to the back of the paper. And apply to the frame. And this gives a nice angled corner. If you prefer, you can cut a square piece of paper and fill, fill it in with a square. Apologies for the shaking camera. I'll just fold that under there. Once you've done all, all your papers, you're going to seal it several times with Mod Podge all the way around, including the inner edge and the outer edge. Um, and that will add um, a deal of protection. I've added a print on the only plate printed paper. And framed, enjoy your decoupage picture frame. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for further craft projects.